Let's do it. First, somebody's already mowing. Gosh dang it. He beat me to it. I think that's Ryan too. Ryan. He probably spells it with an E too. Ryan is a little jealous of my lawn, so he's been working pretty hard at trying to be better than my lawn, but no one's better than my lawn. That's not true. I mean, I don't have that good of a lawn. I'm just starting out. But he sees how much effort I'm putting into my lawn, and he's out here all the time just like pulling weeds by hand, and he puts he probably puts more time than I do. Anyways, he's not getting lawn of the year this year, let's just say that, because by fall time in my new reel mower, overseed, sand leveling, see you Ryan with an E. I'll see you later. See your lawn later, bud. He's gonna be jealous when he hears my lawnmower start up here in a second because step one is always to mow. Okay, sweet. So, I mowed. Now, this time of year is the perfect time of year to overseed as well as filling in bare spots, as well as covering up roots, which is the main thing I'm gonna be doing today. So I mowed a couple clicks down lower than I usually go, and I usually like to keep it low. Low down. Down low. <laughs> no doubt. But that way I can see my roots. So if you can see, right, right there, got some roots coming out here, through there. These ones are pretty bad. So as you can see, I got some pre-exposed roots. Now, when I'm mowing, it's like blah, 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 like all over the place. And then obviously playing soccer or playing out in the yard, they're a pain. So I've got some dirt left over. I've got some dirt left over from my front project. I do wish I screened it first, but as you rake it out, as I, as I rake it flat and everything, bark and the roots and stuff that were from up there will come up to the surface and I'll get those up before I seed. So make sure you just get it as level as possible, burying those roots nice and deep. I'm gonna fill these roots in, bury these roots, overseed my entire yard, front and back. And uh, hopefully we're gonna be good, well established before the first frost, which is usually around October 3rd. As of right now, let's get some dirt down on these roots. Overseed time. I got Kentucky bluegrass from North 40. It is just Kentucky bluegrass lawn seed. And for overseeding, it is one pound per thousand square feet recommended. For new lawns, it is one pound per 500 square feet of lawn. So I've got 20 pounds. I got four bags. I think here. Four, one, two. I have 12 pounds of grass seed in my spreader. So if I was just overseeding, 12 pounds would be doing 12,000 square feet. I have 8,000 square feet. So I know that with my bare areas, like I've got some holes I'm filling in. I'm gonna be doing it heavy on where my dog pees. I've got new soil where the roots go and I have new soil up front where I move my edging. So. I have enough seed to overseed 12,000 square feet, but I'm gonna be doing those areas obviously as a new lawn, which is one pound per 500 square feet. That will equal about, huh, give or take, about 8,000 square feet. Then I've got my peat moss, a mound of peat moss. Now normally I would do my entire lawn with it because it is great for putting over the seed for that moisture locked in uh, keep away from the birds, that sort of thing. But I don't have enough to do my entire lawn. I'm just gonna do the peat moss in the main areas where I do my bare 
where my bare spots are and uh, where I think needs it most. So let's get to it. Looks pretty good for the most part. Maybe a little thick in this area, but I usually, I like to come back through with a rake, rake it in, especially when I put my peat moss back over. Otherwise, I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think that'll work. You throw your seed down, start a fertilizer, and then if you have it, um, Put down your weed preventer which i use uh and tenacity tenacity so throw that all down i'll do that all today and then you cross your fingers for 14 to 21 days sometimes if the conditions are right sometimes kentucky bluegrass will pop up in eight days hopefully that's the truth so maybe in a week or so a week and a half i'll see some results we'll go from there the other thing is is once you seed Make sure you water three times a day for about three weeks. Um, make sure your lawn gets nice and germinated. The lawn starts popping up. Uh, your grass starts growing and you can back that watering off. But fall, is this is the perfect time to overseed and establish that lawn before winter up here in the cool season grass, Pacific Northwest. step fertilize got this fertilizer from north 40 our local uh store and it had a rip in the bag so i asked if there was a discount they said 50 percent off i said heck yeah it is a triple 16 so when you are seeding when you're over seeding you want to get something with a lot of npk you want something higher on all of them you want all the nutrients to go in right when you seed things that I like is that uh, my leveler and the rake do a pretty good job of making it nice and smooth. Here's the thing that I think I need to do better next time. More dirt. And get a drag and uh, a level. So next year is my year to get this whole backyard nice and flat. I think I fixed all the broken ankles on the roots and everything next year. Stay tuned for next year. <laughs> and I'll have this whole yard just flat as can be and we're good to go. But for now, thanks guys for watching. Get out there. Hopefully your fall plans are overseeding or fixing bare spots or whatnot. Get out there, get it done before winter and I'll see you guys in the next one. No, 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 you didn't. Oh, well.
Better luck next year. <laughs> <laughs> now that wasn't very nice. <laughs> 